I'm good. I got this, uh, I guess you could say light industrial machine on the back of my trailer in front of you guys' building. You guys have this one bay right here. Should I back into the bay? Okay, um, how, how, you got, how are you guys unloading it? Are you guys driving it off? What are you guys doing? I'm trying to figure out how we're going to get it unloaded. Am I backing into your bay? Am I driving through your bay? Yes, sir. Oh, I mean, it might be for the construction going on. I know it's um, it's like one of those steam rollers with the spikes on the wheels. Like, a, not a steam roller, but a steel wheel roller. Yeah, I mean, you guys got a bay. And I, it's just must have got, you guys got one bay, correct? Follow you? Okay, I, um, I'm following somebody right now. Yeah, yep. Okay, I'm following somebody right now. Thank you. Make sure that we can get off this uh, platform right here. I don't know why I thought the motor would be louder. Oh no, it looks pretty quiet. So while he's unloading that, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all uh, something that my dad said it was okay, but I don't know, I maybe I could do a better job. Anybody in the comments, if you know you're doing chain job or you're doing heavy haul, I might need to take a course, for real, for real. But this is what I did for the front. All right, so the front has two chains on it. But he told me on this piece, I could have did the same thing I did in the back, which now that makes sense. I mean, it's secured, it held the job down, it did the job, I got three points of contact right here. One, two, three. Then I got one contact right here, I got another piece of contact right here. So I felt like it was good enough. I mean, y'all let me know in the comments if it's wrong. You know, I'm here to learn. But I had the, the X, which I'll show you the X in the back. So I like how we did it when he showed me how to do it. Did a good job man sweet all right so we're gonna put these chains up we're gonna get up out of here i came in that way but i think i can go out this way so i don't know for sure i'm about to find out in just a second about to find out in just a second gotta go drop this off now and then we'll be up the road so let's do the shit well welcome back to the channel man it's your boy i shot benny hold on let me clear you up <laughs> yes yeah, sir so we're back live in the mother flesh after we dropped off those two um, um we're just gonna call the two rollers after we dropped off the two rollers we were able to pick up this load basically i guess you could say quote unquote it's a backhaul it's not taking me home but it's taking me for where i came from i back up to minnesota paying two thousand dollars on 576 miles it's not bad at all but it's gonna get me back i'm gonna drop it off today today's friday i had a load to pick up i had a wide load to pick up because i wasn't going to be able to make it in time and then once i drop off i wasn't gonna have that much time to go drive and go pick up the next load which was a wide load I was like, nah, we can't take it. And first of all, I didn't want to take it anyway because last week we had a wide load going down to Florida. It was going a little bit farther. It was going closer to Miami. It was paying it was paying 7000 but you had to pay for permits. So it was paying $6,500 because you had to pay for the permits, technically. So we asked, it stayed on the load board for like another day or two. So we asked for seventy five. well, we asked for 8000 They gave us the 8000 but you still had to pay for permits. Now we would have got $7,500. So we didn't take the load still. We still didn't take the load. It was like 12 feet wide. So then my dad found a wide load going to Orlando paying 55. But it was only 10 feet wide. I told him I don't want to take the load because why would we not why would we take that load when last week we didn't take the $7,500? Feel what I'm saying? So I was like, nah, I don't want to take that. I'll just rather wait here for the weekend, wait till Monday. It's gonna kind of mess up next week, but we can work with that and try to find something next week. I'll get my reset. I got to do an oil change, and I got to figure out what's going on with my batteries. So I'm not worried about that right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> Start you guys off, man. What a week I have been having. Um, it, has been, it has been an interesting week. So let's go ahead and you know bring you guys up to speed so you guys can know what is going on. Been here since Friday, dropped off my load, came here. Um, I got about a 57 mile or 57 hours, not hour, 57 minute drive to get to my pickup, which is tomorrow, which is Monday. Well, for you guys, you know, whenever you're watching this video, you know, this is, you know, whatever. So, um, I just want to share that, for instance, 
I know I had issues with my batteries. I started having issues with my batteries around Wednesday, Thursday of last week. Thank God I was with my father and we're able to jumpstart the truck with the hot shot and I haven't shut the truck off since. Um, I also needed an oil change. So after I dropped off, I already knew that, okay, look, once you get here, we're gonna have to find you a nice truck stop, either a Loves or a TA to get your oil change and see if you can get the batteries worked on. I already knew that was gonna be a thing. Batteries. Batteries came, you know, this is a brand new love, so they, they got certain technicians who can't work on stuff because they have to be certified, yada, yada, yada. So it's been a kind of a wait, but I got everything taken care of today. So this morning, I was first in line at 7 a.m. I went inside, got my oil change. Oil change was $485. $485 for oil change, about an hour and a half wait. All right, cool. You know, it's a typical oil change, ain't nothing to it. After the oil change, I told them I needed a battery change as well because they already knew that it was on the paperwork and they said, well, you know, the technician went out on a roadside call. He has the battery charge or the battery checker. Um, when he comes back, we'll give you a phone call. We'll come to you and we'll see about your batteries and we'll get on with that. All right, fine, cool. So they come to me, they check the batteries. I got two bad batteries. They changed out the batteries. Um, I, had, I, had nine, I had 925, I think that's the number, the 925D batteries. That's the voltage or the, or I don't know what the number means, but that's what the batteries are called, 925s. And the two batteries, they upgraded me to 950s because they didn't have two 925s. I only have one 925. So they upgraded me to two 950s. I already know that, you know, mix matching like that, the batteries are not gonna have the longevity that they have. So instead of working for like, you know, years or whatever, it may, you know, be a few months, something like that, that's what he said. So I understand that. I got four new sets of batteries back at the house or I got a whole new set of batteries back at the house. I'm not worried about that. Batteries were 380. So we got four, I think it was like four, actually I got the paperwork right here. Let me not lie to you guys. I'm just rounding the numbers up, but I know it was like four something and then three something. For the oil change, we have 485 for the total. That's the oil change. And then for the actual battery change that we have, we have 342. So 45 plus 342, I think that's like something like $900, or something like that, if I'm correct, just tell me if I'm wrong. Because I've been running the truck, because I wasn't able to shut it off, and I needed AC and stuff like that at night, I've been running out of fuel. So I went up to the, to the field to go get fueled up. I'm thinking that, okay, you know, I ain't been running the truck. I filled up on Friday. I should be good. Get up to the fuel island. That shit is just, it's just going. 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 Turns out I spent $711 on fuel today. $711 plus, I believe this is like 900 something right here. This is round up to nine plus 11 plus a seven. That's $1,600 in a weekend, in a day, in one day that I spent. I haven't dropped off no load. Um, I dropped off a little Friday, but I haven't dropped off anything because it's, it's the weekend. I'm not even loaded with anything right now. So then I know come Monday when I get loaded up, when I get loaded up on Monday, it's gonna be funny because, you know, of course I'm gonna use fuel. I got about an 18 hour trip to get to where I need to go to. I think it's 1,200 miles. I'm gonna have to fill up again during that trip. So that's another $800, let's say, if I have to fill up. So in a course, in a, in a span of maybe four days, I will have spent 16 plus the eight, what's that, 24? The 24? That'll be $2,400. The load that I'm picking up Monday is only paying 3,000 to go back home. It's taking me to Savannah, Georgia. It's not a great load in the world, but you know, it is what it is, gotta get up out of here. 1,200 miles for $3,000. It's a partial. I already know my dad's gonna try to put something on the trailer. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So that way we can have more on the trailer than just that $3,000. But I want to share that with you share that with you guys, especially for the people who follow the channel or anybody who's brand new to the channel who does not know. It's just expensive. Keeping up with this shit is expensive. Nothing is broke yet. And <laughs> I'm not even talking about the, I got a gasket that I gotta, get, I gotta change out soon when I get back home. That's gonna be another expense. You know, trucking is fun. I love it, trust me, I love it to death. But when you start realizing how much money you spend, if you're not ready for this, if you're not prepared for this, you're gonna hurt. You're gonna hurt. It's just expensive, man. It's expensive. Tires, maybe two, three hundred dollars, depending on where you get them from. Steer tires, they're like five, six hundred dollars. And I'm lying to you, I think these, 
Not no two, three hundred. I think these tires are about three, four hundred. Then the steer tires are about five or six. Just depending on where you get them from, you know what I mean? Um, it's expensive, man. Insurance is a killer. Everybody knows about insurance. Some people have gone out of business because of insurance, but you just gotta keep that in mind, man. It's, it's expensive out here, man. It's expensive. But like I said, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit, man. I just, I, 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 we're gonna get back to the blogs very soon. I'm just, you know, getting back into the swing of things. I had the camera down. I was really just enjoying the truck. Like I said, I mean, look at it. I've been enjoying the truck for the most part, but we're gonna pick it back up soon and get back to rolling. But right now, I'm just enjoying it. Um, I need to get back into the swing of it because all the things that I've done, I've already created. I've already created the content already that I've, like the stuff I'm, I feel like the stuff that I'm putting out or, I, or, or that you guys want me to put out, I feel like I've already done before, you know? So I got to find something kind of new. Um, I'm, not, I'm not switching up my style. I just think I have to be more vlog oriented now. I think I have to record every moment of being on the road. Even if I'm going to the truck stop and getting food, you know, I have to record stuff like that and get you guys a more in-depth feeling of how it is to be out. Because I know some of you guys have never been out here. Some of you guys are just local. Some of you guys don't want to come out here. Some of, some of you guys just enjoy the content. So maybe I have to do more stuff like that and that might be the new stride for things. But also with the truck, man, the truck's got so many issues with like just the interior and stuff. Like, it's not, a, it's not always a pleasant stay inside the truck, just to be real with you. Then I got my puppy, been taking care of him, dealing with him, you know, so I'm just, just trying to get, really get myself in a routine to really enjoy being on the road and really understand what I need to do, how I need to move. But that's it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I spent like $1,600 in one day. You know what I mean? That's just one day. No load's been dropped off, no load's been picked up. That's just the weekend, you know? And then I gotta put fuel into the truck. And a lot of people get upset about my Instagram post because I don't put all that stuff up there, but I don't put it up there because it's, it's too much. When you're dealing with algorithm with Instagram, you can't put that up there for, for every single post. You know, every single post. I don't want my Instagram to look like that. I do it for certain posts because I try to tell the truth all the time, I try to be very transparent. You know, but a lot of people get mad. They be like, dude, you know you spent like $7,000 for fuel in a week. No, I did not. The most I spent for fuel in a week is like 2,700 bucks. Fuel is not that expensive. Like stop crying about fuel. I, I already made a video about it. Stop crying about fuel. It is what it is. But things that you, we don't have control of, you know, these tires, insurance, um, if something breaks on a truck, um, you know, I just learned something new about getting permits in certain states. Louisiana, they want their own, they want their shit up front as soon as you cross the line into their state. They want you to pay up front on the spot. Like, I just learned something about that. Hasha Haven gave me that inf information. You know, there's a lot of things in the trucking that's gonna, that's, that you don't have control of. I just want people to stop crying, man, but I just want to share that with you guys about how much money I spent in just a day. Um, I know it's a short little video, nothing crazy, but I thought it was important to share. A lot of people don't know. But if you get into this business, man, just, Find somebody who's already, who's really been doing it and they can really guide you. You know, I'm trying to do the best that I can, but I'm just showing you my experiences. Nobody guided us. So I'm just showing you my experience. But just think about that when you get into the business, if you're getting hot shot or semi, whatever you're going to do, just think about that, having it back in your head, that you're going to spend money. Money's going to go out. It's always going to go out. You know what I mean? But other than that, love y'all. Peace. If you're brand new, you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you. I fucks with you. I hope you fuck with me. But we out. Here we out. Hey, counting these commas, we run it up. All of these hoes, they won't come with us. Sipping that dirty, she getting real sloppy. Staying high, now she living the dreams. On the pants, Magello on me. Jolly Ranchers, mix it up with the lean. Johnny Dang, all my diamonds on fleek. Pop me a perk, cause she think I'm a geek.